place and today we are greeted by this uh, extremely extremely yeah it won't stop coming to our door it smells something delicious in the kitchen let's go look Ooh, mom you're making some pancakes also some very nice pancakes yum okay Ooh, so this is our breakfast. So we got a big plate of pancakes and wow. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys outside. Alright guys, so we're out of the bow and what's this huge cruise ship here? Yeah, usually you'll see little boats ferrying people from the cruise ship that's out in the ocean. Yeah, but this is just parked right out to the bay. <laughs> it's huge! Seaborn on the sea. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's lots of today too. That's the Bay of Kotor. You can see the cruise ship. You were right there just now. Our hotel's like somewhere right there. This is amazing. You know something? This is fjord in the Bay of Kotor. It's literally surrounded by mountains. Well, today we're gonna go outside of these mountains and we're gonna check out the entirety of Montenegro. So if you ask me, I think we should get going if you want to see Montenegro. I mean, this just isn't it. I'm pretty sure there's more to see.
Wow, this must be the most beautiful view in the entirety of Montenegro. Look, you can see the Bay of Kotor, you can see Pyrast, you can see the airport strip, which is like down there, which is like the only piece of flat land they have there. Wow, you can see almost everything. Even the ocean, which is over there somewhere. Alright guys, so this here is Lofsen. Lofsen is basically the national park of Montenegro and uh, basically this is the place where you can uh, book a hotel and then you can stay there from at night until we can explore the park. Very cool. So, Lofsen, it's a national park. Let's go check it out guys. some deforestation here so the trees fell down and so since the trees fell down the roots didn't anchor the rocks properly and therefore landslide and as you can see on the road there's a huge block there so we have tree roots grass and two huge boulders so um, looks like we're just gonna have to make a u-turn and go someplace else sad oh anyway, guys so luckily enough <laughs> the, one of the people who one of the people in the cars that have come here and realized that this part, that this road was blocked uh, actually showed us another way to get up to the mountain so right now we're gonna take that detour and get up to the mountain another road though
last one, I'm gonna walk all the way up there. Let's go. Alright guys, we're nearly there, let's go. Alright, let's go inside. But before we do, let's enjoy the view of Montenegro. Montenegro is a fairly small country. So what you're seeing here is basically more than like, I don't know, 30%. Ooh, let's go through this place. So if you go to the left with the next entrance you see from grab the stairs, you'll find this great view. Come climb up there though. You can still see it. Alright guys, so it's pretty majestic up here. I don't know what temple this is, but this statue, it looks boss. Some dude with a traditional Montenegrin clothing and an eagle behind it. Don't tell me that doesn't look cool. And the bottom is a tomb with some flowers, which is cool. Okay, we got that out of the way and oh wow, man. It's amazing. Wow. You can literally see the whole of Montenegro from up here. Let's go over there to that little platform. So basically it's a viewing platform. You can see the whole of Montenegro from up here because this is the tallest mountain in Montenegro. temple with such a magnificent view. Never knew it. I wonder oh my God. Oh guys, what a magnificent temple with a magnificent view of Montenegro. But sadly enough, uh, that's all. And yeah, we gotta go now. So if you look down there uh, on the way back, you can see that we were there just now. And now we're gonna go back down. Okay guys, so now we are along this little path, this gravel path. When you look over there, you might see some uh, stone towers. Let's go stack one. Ooh, there are a lot of stones up here. Let's go stack a tower. Hey guys, it's Wanho here. Today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to stack a rock. First, get a nice big flat one for the base. Then here, then later, just get a medium sized one or another big one. Stack on top. You know, just make sure as long as the bottom is like firm, it's okay. Just make a nice flat base. 
like so. Then after that, you can get to the fun bit, which is stacking stuff up. So you can get a few smaller ones right here. Put one here, one here, and one there. And yeah, if you want to add some more, basically just stack a few here. And yeah, there you go, a nice tower. So as you can see, I've made my mark. I have been up to this tower, up to this mountain before. So. Yay. Welcome to the Waiho weather forecast. Today it's definitely gonna rain. Look at that rain cloud. It's all black. You better go. Let's go. Did I mention the acoustics here are amazing? Watch this, guys. Um, that you give me a sentence to say. Subscribe to the perfect ten. Subscribe to the perfect ten. That's a nice acoustics. Echo. Echo. What are you doing, Mom? Did you really have to put on that music? Oh my god. Mom, please. Why? Okay, bye, lol. finally down from the mountain and right now we are just walking through this lovely little town because we're kind of hungry and it's lunch time hey mom Konoba Korzo is the place we're going to be having our lunch today. So we got three cans of coke, a whole basket of bread, and a nice bowl of chicken soup. Yay! Our main course has arrived. So here we got a nice chicken uh, burger, very big. Inside has lettuce, tomato, and chicken. So what do you have there, Mum? Rustan beef. Uh, so basically, it's vegetables, potatoes, and sausage. And now here we got some nice pizza. This pizza has a uh, ham, cheese, um, mushrooms. Yeah. Sorry. This is what my dad's having. He's having like a pork um, bits with French fries. Very nice. All right. So, so after we finished with lunch, my dad was still feeling a bit um. And he has a sweet tooth, so um. We have a sweet tooth. I just feel like this. Yeah, so basically we're having dessert. Mixed chocolate vanilla. Very nice. Okay guys, as you can see, we've come up to this pretty house thing. What is it, Dad? 
hotel. Oh wow, there is another road that comes up here. Can you believe it went all the way down the street? JK guys, we didn't come all the way for this uh, hotel. I mean, we really got a hotel, but uh, yeah, you can come here if you want. This uh, goes up to Metarizi or something. But what we did came for was this nice uh, stream river thing. Because uh, I've never seen such a huge or so, I don't know, it's almost perfect. Like, it flows in a nice line. It isn't, it's not like, uh, I mean, you can just see it so perfectly. Like, the edges. I mean, they're not straight at all, but you can see the river so nice and clear. It stretches all the way down there. You can see so many mountains. Montenegro has a lot of mountains. Okay, guys, we're going back up. Bye bye, nice river. Oh. Very nice mountain range, too, not gonna lie. Not just the river, but the mountains. So that there, all those buildings in the distance. Oh uh, yeah, that area is called Pochkorica, and it's the capital of Montenegro. So yeah, most people live there. So this is Kalampa Petrol. We have just stopped for a pee break. And they've been advertising this petrol station for a long time. It looks a little bit more modern than the ones you usually see. So maybe there's a reason for that. But not only that, but it's surrounded by nice beautiful mountain scenery. Alright guys, so right now we're just going through this tunnel. It's a faster way back. So, as you can see, we just got through like, uh, what's that place called? Coach? Porto Rica. So basically, since we want to go Porto Rica, we had to take one big round. And the fastest way back is using this tunnel. So we have taken the tunnel. Wee! Well, again, yeah, it's beautiful out here.
front of us is a few After it's a big town. Meters, and basically this is a Koto. We're not there yet, it's so still a long time ago. But it's basically a border town between Albania and uh, Montenegro. So Albania is about that way and yeah. We're not going that way, we're just We're not actually gonna swim because we have no time for a dip in the ocean, but just enjoy the nice view, right? Alright guys, so there you have it. 100 meters of public beach, all for the normal plebeian citizens to use. Alright guys, so that there is St. Stephen Island, as I just said. It's a very, very nice. And basically, the, literally the only way you have to get in is basically you have to pay a lot of money or be a hotel guest or be an invited guest so yeah if you can't really see it clearly i apologize the sun is shining from the other direction right there sorry and uh, there's the helicopter again seems to be circling st stephen island for some reason all right so right now we're gonna leave uh, the beach side of st stephen island and yeah we're gonna go back to um the bay of kotor so, uh, yeah, bye bye, uh, St. Stephen Resort. Alright, yeah, so right now we are driving through Budva. Budva is mainly, it's one of those places that are more modern. Yeah, more Touristy, modern. Like Patong. Like Patong Beach. Yeah, like Patong Beach is in Thailand, you didn't know if you go there. So, uh, yeah, tourists usually come here. Oops. As you can see, things are more modern. Like, as you can see, the street lights are like cooler, I guess. And everything's more clean. But Koto, remember Koto, you said it was like um, it's pretty small roads, very, very rough roads, too. Yeah, you like, must go heritage, so cannot uh, make it. 
Yeah. So basically here, since there's like nothing here, they just built all these cool new modern buildings right on top of this land. Very nice place. Kufa. So right now we're just looking for dinner. Uh, since we haven't planned anything, we're just using this age-old method that humans used last time called winging it. Basically what you do is that you literally close your eyes, spin around 360, and literally whatever you're pointing at is what you're eating. We're eating this. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first thing is right, this is Slanima. Yeah, Slanina. So basically, it's bacon and some buns. So it's basically a burger. This is mine. This is called Germanska. It's a chicken burger. And this one here is from my dad's also having the same thing. So both of us are having Germanska. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm not really bad. And you can see there's a new food ship. This one's called the Norwegian Star. And if you didn't know, Norway is also famous for their fjords, so that's a 